I'm so behind on everything. Work is just so busy right now. I've completely just lost track of my own personal life, but like what's new? We're gonna try and get some shit done. Soon my half marathon will be over and I'll have one big thing off my plate and then I'll have time to like keep my life a bit more clean. I'm kind of going crazy with a cluttered apartment, but it's okay, we'll survive. For today's feast, we have angel hair pasta and plant-based bolognese. That's good. While the water heats up, I had a 10 mile run on Sunday. It's like, that's the longest run I'm gonna have to do before my half marathon on the 19th, I think. Yeah, so I got home from my run. I took a shower and I started stretching and I just like wasn't feeling good. And then all of a sudden I got super nauseous. So I was just laying in bed for two hours. I was gonna clean and like reset for the week. My body was like, hell no. I even tried to like stand up to get water. I felt like I was gonna throw up. So I just like laid there until I finally felt better. I feel like that meme with that dog sitting at the table in a room that's like on fire, like everything's fine. I never know how much to actually do. Expecto Patron! I don't know if any of y'all are Italian or not, but please don't judge me. I just don't like the pieces being too long. If you're new here, hey, my name's Chelsea. I just like to make weird, cute little videos showcasing my super ordinary life here living alone in New York City. I thought because it's plant-based, it had like the impossible meat in it. Like I wanted the fake meat chunks. I didn't want chunks of vegetables. Huh? Not bad, eh? I'm sure if I saw this when I was nauseous on Sunday, I probably would have vomited. In this video, we are doing a bit of hanging out in my apartment. I don't know what to watch. Having some laughs and trying to get my life together also while working a nine to six. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, then I invite you to stick around. And I was like, a lot of alcohol was involved. SZA's new album has been on repeat. Kill Bill, Snooze, Conceited, Smoking on My X-Pack. Oh, there's so many good songs in here. Oh, good days. I really appreciate that even though I need to give 100% of myself during the day at work, a part of my life that you can't see, that you stick around and watch the version of me that's left over after that. When I restarted my YouTube channel last fall, I promised I would make videos around my life and not make my life around videos in order to sustain my channel. Uh, and this video really stays true to that. Like, while we're not out in the big city, I was just out there and the vibes are better in here anyways. Okay, I think I'm gonna wake up at six. I should be nice to myself, right? And pick out an outfit tonight. And maybe I'll like steam it in advance. I have five minutes until my deadline to get to bed, but it's still pretty early, so. I'm getting upstaged by my steamer. I had a blazer. Man. I love me. Like, I'm doing myself a real favor right now. So proud. I'm doing this because I have zero chance of having a morning routine. <laughs> I need to find a top to wear. Maybe red. Red's, no. Well, no. I forgot I had like a little shirt sweater thing. Sweet. Do you want to know something really embarrassing? I'm reading a book. It's not tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, but I've covered up another book with the cover. <laughs> I'm reading a dating book, okay? But I can't get, bring myself to read this in public on the train. I don't want people to know I'm reading it. So therefore I share it on my YouTube to thousands of people, but so I put another cover on it so I can read in peace. 10, 13, I gotta go to bed. I love you, have a good sleep. Hasta mañana, bitches. 6.48 in the morning. I don't feel like total shit. That's great. I'm just not awake. Let's crush this day. I want to go back to bed so bad. I don't know if it's my thyroid issues or what, but it's always been extremely difficult to get out of bed in the morning. If you're also a night owl, I am I'm right there with you trying to make it work where you just like have no choice but to have to be awake early to maximize productivity for the day. We did it. It's cold out there though. I'm tired, but I feel okay. Not a terrible start to the day. I'll see you guys later. Which in my opinion, maximizing productivity is bull anyways like who gets to decide what's productive and what's not for each individual and why was this not a town hall discussion or something i totally would have participated in that i'm saying this genuinely that sleeping is probably the most productive thing i personally could do without proper sleep everything else 
is pointless. No, I don't want to wake up at 6 a.m. and read. I would rather rest my overthinking brain in a nice REM sleep. So square hips. hips. Now open, open the hip. I had to share this proud moment with you all. When I cleaned all the clothes from the floor, I really thought I'd never get to it. And I managed to get it done on a Wednesday night. I mean, come on. We gotta normalize giving ourselves like actual pats on the back. 7.30 on a really freaking cold night. I have a run tonight, which I'm not gonna skip. I needed a, oh my God. Oh my God, get back in my eye. Okay, we're good. I'm really trying to be good about finishing up training strong. I don't wanna sabotage my race. I've never had an original thought in my life, but is running in a thong? <laughs> Is this TMI? Is running in a thong like the most uncomfortable thing ever? But I hate having a panty line. Like I just don't want to have to run two, three miles with a wedgie. The things you do for your goals. Fully committing to things scares the poop out of me and makes me really anxious. But trying to prioritize what's important to me with my version of consistency has made a huge difference in the progress of my goals. <laughs> Freaking thong! This is my imperfect pursuit of telling self-sabotage and fear of success to off. I'm not limiting myself anymore to make others feel more comfortable and for me just to stay stagnant. Give me two seconds, I'll be right back. That was like the easiest three miles I've ever done. I actually went over three miles. I was so focused on running that I didn't hear my app go off telling me I already passed three miles. But one time I can do a short run, I went longer. Feeling good though, I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm ready. Keeping the hat on though because my hair would get real founding father really quick. Très dangereuse, protein powder. I made it with milk last time and that was better, but it'll do. Let's like stretch. Oh, and then we're gonna do something really fun after I take a shower. I'm excited about this. We took a shower, we're clean now. Okay, so y'all know I haven't done anything with brands in a really long time. I have been waiting for the right one to come across, the right one to come around. <laughs> I was really happy when Try Treats reached out to me. <laughs> All right, this came, at the, this came at the perfect time because um, I'm hungry. So Try Treats is basically like a snack subscription box where each month, depending on how long you sign up for the subscription, sends you a different country, snacks from that country. And it's a surprise every time. Okay, no way. Is this Japan? Oh man, yes it is. As you dig into your box this month, you'll encounter treats ranging from a unique savory Japanese snacks. Oh, it's like fun facts about Japan too. That's so cool, I'm a Virgo, I love a good fun fact. Wow, okay, and then here's a list of all the treats that I'm gonna get. Look at that, look at that. Honestly, if something like this came at my time of the month every month, I think I would be like ecstatic and in a way better mood. <laughs> okay, so let's try some of this stuff. What is this? It's grape flavored gummy candy. I used to play with this stuff all the time when I was a kid. I feel like I can't just eat it, I have to play with it. <laughs> I need to stop. Set that down. There's a lot here. Okay, what is this? Like I genuinely can't pronounce any of it and I feel so bad. Oh, chocolate sticks. Oh, so it's like, oh, to go, oh man. We have these in the US too. It has like a cheese dip with these like type of sticks. Oh man. Yeah, that's good. I mean, everything's in plastic which is not environmentally friendly, but I work in renewable energy, it cancels out. Let's go in blindly. What is this? I'm not gonna read about it, I'm gonna try and figure it out. Questionable. Oh, it's just like a bottle cap. Does it do anything? It smells like blue raspberry, a little vinegary from the plastic. Oh, it's like melting in my mouth. Oh my God, I like that. It tastes like Pez, but like more melty in the mouthy. They come in a handy bottle. Just like the iconic bottles of soda at Japanese summer festivals. That makes more sense. We got a bag of, oh my God, freaking corn puffs. They're grilled corn snacks. I like that a lot. I also like how all the labels, the nutrition labels are in Japanese, so I can't read them and I just don't need to know. It's not like corn puff cereal, like don't put this in a bowl with milk. The flavors are just so different. I'm gonna open one blind, open it and eat it without looking at the packaging, but you can see it first. I don't know if it's focusing or not, or if it's upside down. <laughs> what is this? Is this chocolate? It doesn't smell like anything. 
Oh, it's like freaking bread. There was nothing on the packaging to even read. Marin pie has a chestnut filling. Matcha flavor on the inside. It doesn't taste like anything. I almost don't care that it doesn't taste like anything. I would never be exposed to treats like this anywhere, but like with something like this. You can't just go into a bodega and ask for a marron pie. This is like special, like it's an experience. And save that for later. Actually, a panda. Oh, it's a little broken, but that's okay. Oh, but look at your little tongue. You need a little tongue. Oh, that's like shortbread. Oh, wow. They put a lot of flavor in that. What the heck is that? Butter cookie. It's inspired by butter bread in Japan. Oh, wait, is this a... This is a marshmallow. If you really knew me growing up, I would buy giant jumbo marshmallows and put them in the microwave and just watch them get to the size of a small basketball. And then I would take them out of the microwave. This is crazy. And let them deflate, peel them off the paper towel, let them cool off and then eat it like a meringue or like a cookie. Oh, you can also try putting it in the fridge. I never tried a refrigerated marshmallow, but ooh, look at it. Mmm. Classic. Oh, it's chocolate. It's a treat made of puff wheat or barley, thinly coated with a chocolate glaze. Oh my god, that's bitter. So this has a consistency of corn puffs. Honestly, it looks like little rabbit poops. Wow, I'm addicted. One of the fun facts on here, on this little info sheet for like, explore Japan. Japanese trains are among the world's most punctual. Their average delay is just 18 seconds. They knew what they were doing when they were sending this to me over here in New York. Our average delay is like 27 minutes. Ooh, okay. First impression. Classic cheese whiz type flavor. Oh, really like melts in your mouth. Oh my God, it's like a rice cracker. It is a rice cracker. Yeah, this is dangerous. Okay, there's one left. This one is unlabeled. So this is a mystery nugget. It does look like a chicken nugget. Sticky. Oh, wait. I feel like I'm Squidward eating the Krabby Patty. Oh wait, there's like the red stuff inside. Yeah, the bean paste. Like this one, you can tell it's sweet, but it's not overpoweringly sweet. The spread was very balanced. Mm. Customer service at Tri Treats, top notch. They were really nice and gave me, us, you, whoever's interested, an exclusive coupon code to use and then enter the code at checkout. If you do a three month subscription, a box is around $16, which for the experience, I think it's worth it. Also, Check out their social media. Obviously there's no pressure, but if you do use the affiliate link, know that I do get a small commission from that. But if you do try it out, let me know. And let me know what country you got. Now I need vegetables in my stomach, but <laughs> thank you Chai Treats for sending this to me. It was super nice of you. That was delicious. I'm gonna go to bed because I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. I think this outfit's cute. What do you think? <laughs> What do you think? I feel like a bit scandalous being in my 30s wearing a crop top. Who gives a f Nobody. I need to, Woo. I think we're gonna keep the hair straight. I don't know, does it look good from the back? I don't know. Well, it's not bad. I feel like smelling good is the priority these days. Like who cares what you look like, but if you smell like you just walked out of Macy's, no one cares if your hair is greasy. <laughs> This is the proper way to apply makeup. Just in the T-zone. I did my brows 12 hours ago. I think they look okay. I'm excited to go out. It's like hibernation mode is over. But like I'm ready to go out and see people and catch up from the six months I took indoors. Uh, which is good news for my channel too because we'll be getting out and doing more things. This is also why I love living alone because no one is in my way when I urgently have to get ready at the last second. I prioritized a nap. Forgot we only have like a quarter cup of sauce. We're not going for flavor now. We're desperate and going towards how much I can eat to have in my stomach. I love it when you call me Big Papa. This is gonna save my life tonight, I know. This is a sprint, not a marathon. Well, that's it. We brush the teeth, put on a little lippy. That's all I did. Let's go to West Village. Love Georgina. 
If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and if you feel so inclined, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye!